Hi Aries, this is Petra at IndigoTarot.club and I'm here to do a Celtic Cross reading for you for the month of August 2017. I am late in posting this, so I've asked that I receive the messages for you for over the next 30 days using this Celtic Cross reading. So I've already shuffled and cut the cards. I'm ready to get started for you Aries. For the card representing you, I have the Six of Swords. For the energy crossing you, I have the Ten of Swords. For the basis of the situation, I have the Ace of Swords. For the immediate past, I have the King of Wands. For your crowning thoughts, I have the Five of Pentacles. And for what's coming in the immediate future, I have the Page of Swords. For how you see yourself, I have the Two of Swords. For how others see you or what is in your environment, I have the Star. For what you really, really want, I have the Five of Wands. For your outcome card, I have the Lovers. And for additional outcome, I have the Hierophant and the Seven of Cups. When I get the Lovers and the Hierophant, I automatically think Marriage. But with that Seven of Cups, I'll have to really listen to um, <laughs> messages to see what I get there. Okay, so for the card representing you, Aries, right now, I have the Six of Swords. It feels like some of you are looking forward to moving away from someone. Someone who perhaps has been mean to you. Or for some of you, not passionate enough. Uh, for others of you, slightly on the abusive side. But in any case, I think what's happened is you've gotten you've got an opportunity now to leave, to move. And you're going to take advantage of that. Or you're thinking about taking advantage of that right now for the current energy I have the ten of swords and it feels like this is the end to this cycle that you've been going through this abusive cycle I just heard um, with this person and so you're you're um, you're smiling and you're looking forward to this ending I'm feeling also looking at this card that your family is scared for you and so there's going to be some extra support coming in for some of you if you ask for it from your family members to sort of protect you from this person for the basis of the situation I have the ace of swords and what I'm feeling um, is that possibly whoever this person is they may have um, they may have brandish a weapon or something in the past and scared you with that one time so for immediate past I have the king of wands and this doesn't feel like the person that you're going to move away from or that you're moving away from it feels like it feels like maybe it's you your energy for some of you it feels like it's your energy where you're starting to You've increased your confidence. Something has caused you to increase your confidence. Something that happened to you within the past three months. And so now you're like this king of wands who's very sure of himself. And um, it feels like you're looking back at that person like, really? Seriously? You think you're going to scare me now? I've had enough of you. I don't need to stay here anymore. I'm leaving or or that's it, I'm, I'm glad I'm gone. And that's what I'm feeling from this card. Like you're just looking back at that person like, whatever dude, <laughs> or whatever girl, I don't need to, I don't need you. I don't need to be around you. So whatever this opportunity is that comes in or that's just come in, it's helping you or it's going to help you to get away, get away from that person for good. So the crowning thoughts, I have five of pentacles. And so one thing that you might be worried about is the cost of moving, the cost of moving or the cost of getting um, furniture for your new house or your new apartment or whatever you're, wherever you're moving to. Um, I just heard that some of you are moving temporarily into a friend's house or your parent's house. And even there, you are going to have to spend some money on some things. Now, for those of you that go to a friend's house there may be a a male that comes by that place who's interested in you who's going to show or who's going to show interest in you by the way but so for crowning thoughts i'm having um financial issues financial worries 
for immediate future add the page of swords and this doesn't feel like a person it feels like a message or something like a communication like you're waiting on communication so maybe this has to do with you a couple months from now after you've been living at some person's house waiting to get an approval for a loan and for some of you it's waiting to get an approval into an apartment of your own even if it's a tiny apartment i feel like some of you are willing to move into a tiny apartment albeit temporarily like six months maybe not not for a year um just to get yourself settled some of you have one or two small children also some of you are in the nursing profession as well and some of you are students okay so for the card that tells me how you feel, how you see yourself right now. I have the Two of Swords. Some of you, um, I'm kind of surprised to say this, but some of you are, are thinking about going back to that person just because of uh, the money, just because this person has makes more money than you, has more th property, and because you felt semi-comfortable in the material surroundings. Not comfortable with that person emotionally, but materially. And so some of you are having second thoughts or you're going to have second thoughts about moving back with that person. But I'm seeing in my head a big word, the uh, big letters don't. And I just heard don't, don't move back. Don't go back to that person. You'll regret it. That's what I just heard. And then for um, the energy around you or how someone feels about you, I have the star. This feels more like energy and it feels more like angels are around you helping to support you, spiritual guidance. And so I think what's happening here is that you're going to receive messages intuitively and hopefully you'll be very open to receiving those so that you don't miss out on any opportunities that are going to be brought to you because I also see people bringing you food and money. Okay, so let's see. For what you really, really want, Aries, I have the Five of Wands. And anytime I see this card in this position, the first thing I think is that what you really want is you don't want to struggle anymore. You don't want to have to deal with struggle. You don't want to deal with fighting. For some of you, just a, a little bit of you, a small group of you, it feels like you're going to start some kind of home-based business, maybe on Etsy or eBay, selling some kind of things that you create or so. But mostly what I'm feeling from this card is what you really want is you want to get away from that person and you want to stop fighting and arguing. You don't even want to have any kind of, uh, you don't want your family questioning you so much about what happened in that house either. You just want to say, you know what, I'm out of there. Just let me be, help, you know, help me. I need help. Help support me right now temporarily, but don't ask any questions. Okay, so for the outcome card, I have the Lovers, and I have the Hierophant, and I have the Seven of Cups. So for some of you, it feels like you already have a lover, and you two are already uh, discussing getting married or living together. And so what I'm feeling is that maybe six months from now for some of you uh, the person that you're interested in they're so happy that you left that person and now they want you to move in with them and then for others of you with this seven of cups it just feels like you're um, floating on cloud nine like you're daydreaming fantasizing about all the awesome fun things that you can do now that you have your freedom away from this person and when I say that I feel like I'm speaking to those of you who who were getting physically abused by this person another thing with the Hierophant it just feels it just feels like some of you are thinking about marrying this person that you're seeing now or that you're going to be seeing And I feel a little bit of uh, fear that the past person might try to uh, cause problems for you. 
It feels like maybe uh, some of you, your parents' house, where you're, for those of you that are staying at your parents' house, not, not your friend's house, that parents' house is kind of close to where you are living with that person. So you don't want to stay there too long. So um, I feel a little bit of fear about that also. For the most part, with that outcome, it feels like um, talking about marriage, getting married, uh, living under the same roof with someone that you love very much, and being very happy and having a lot of daydreams, uh, happy daydreams about what your future holds now that you have, you, now that you have this freedom. Okay, Aries, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, I'll be back in September for your September psychic tarot reading. If you would like to enter for a chance to win a free full psychic tarot reading with me, all you need to do is go to indigotarot.club and click the enter here tab for more information. I really appreciate you watching my videos. I'm sorry that I put it out so late. I just moved recently and it's caused delays for me in getting the readings out. But I do appreciate you watching them. Thank you. This is Petra at indigotarot.club.